Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having an awesome day. Y'all, we are a little bow crazy on the channel today. Stay tuned. So for those of you who have stopped by to check out the video, welcome. And for everyone who is a subscriber to my channel, thank you so much for helping this channel to become the success that it is. And for those of you who are not subscribers, I would love to have you join. And I think today's video and every other video I have out there will show you why this is the channel for you. And today we are going to stick with our bow making theme and I'm going to bring in this delicate little cutie here and I call it delicate and it's not. The paper is actually pretty sturdy, but I have much thinner loops and it is more of a traditional looking bow and I have jingle bells on it. So we're going to make this, but after we finish making this, don't leave because we have an awesome little project that you can then turn around and use this on. So we're going to do this very quickly because it won't take much. You are going to need six pieces that measure half an inch by four. You'll need six of those. Then you're going to need a piece that measures one by five. And then I have some little scrap pieces that I will be using to mount my bow to and to wrap around the bow. So I'm not going to give measurements on these because that will depend on how deep you cut the angles on your bow, but you'll understand the purpose of these as we go along in the project. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to take the six strips that measure half an inch by four and go ahead and curl those. Then we're going to take our glue and we're following the same process that we've been using on those other bows. So by the time you guys finish this one, you are going to be bow masters. So all we're doing is adding glue and then we create this loop. And I have already done four other loops. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the last one with you guys. So I added my glue there. I'm going to take this piece fold it over. I am not going to crease it because I want that roundness of the loop. So now we have our six loops and all we need to do at this point is what we did on the others, which is just come in and angle to a point. And we're going to do that on all of these. And you don't have to be precise but you do want to have a nice little point so that you can place some glue on it and not have it create a whole bunch of bulk when you put it down. So again, I am just cutting through all of these. And I've got two more to go. And I hope you guys are having fun with these bows because I'm serious when I say you really don't need to go buy bows at the store because if you have paper, glue, and scissors, you have everything you need to make your own bows. So now I have all six of these cut at the angle and I am going to bring in my piece here and it's just a little piece that I'm going to cut in half so that I can mount. I'll be able to mount my pieces to that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and just go in the center and notch out a little V just like that. And I'll do it on the other side as well. So I'm just eyeballing and I am going to notch out a V. Doesn't have to be exact. And again, you have like a little bow tie. So what I'm going to do at this point, I am going to take my glue. You can do this with hot glue if you want. And I am going to just take this and place it down at an angle, just like that. Then I'll take another one, place my glue right there. And I'm going to take that one and place it down at an angle right there. So I'll have my two placed at an angle 
and this paper needs a moment to set up with the glue because it's got like a gloss on it so it'll take just a moment and I'll take this loop and I'm going to position it right there in the center and before these dry completely I'm just going to flare them out a little bit more so before I move to the other side I'm going to let this dry because like I said this paper has almost like a waxy coating on it so I need to make sure that the glue settles before I move to the other side okay guys so now that we have this side fairly dry I went ahead and just scraped off some of that waxy coating so hopefully these will go down a lot easier and dry a lot quicker so your paper choices and the coating on your paper choice will impact how quickly you're able to get your project to stick to the glue if you're using wet glue if you're using hot glue it's going to stick immediately so again I am just taking this loop and so I've placed it down at an angle just like I did over here and then I'm going to take my final one place my glue and I'm going to take it and just put it right in there and I'm going to hold this until it actually sets up all right guys so now that we have our bow like this I am simply going to take my centerpiece here and it's basically just a strip that I've cut and I've attached some tape to the back just so that I can gather up all of these points under that tape and then I'm going to lift this and I'll take my tape and I'm going to wrap it around my loops just like that and I'm going to clean up the back just a little bit and then I can just come back and tweak how my bow loops are looking and when I'm satisfied I'll just trim off that excess so now we have our bow very simple little bow so now that I have my bow like this I am going to take some twine and I want twine wrapped around this center so the first thing that I'm going to do is just add a little bit of glue right there and I'm going to take my twine and stick it in that glue and then I'm just going to roll it around the center of my bow until I have what I want and then when I have what I want I'll just take my loops and get them flared out if that's how I want it and as I'm doing this I am pressing down so that the glue that I have on that twine will actually start to stick and then I'm going to come around to the back, place some glue right there, and then I'll just bring this back twine into that glue. And now we have a twine center on this. And you can place any type of a center on this that you want. You guys have seen me using um, brads a lot, but you can use all types of things for the center. And my sister Teresa had a really good idea was talking to her last night and she said she has a whole bunch of earrings where she's missing one of the earrings but she didn't throw them out and now she's going to take them and use them as centers or as danglies on her projects which is an awesome idea so kudos to her for thinking outside of the box so now we have our bow we're going to take this piece which is our base but before we do we need to do what we did on that smaller piece and we're going to come in and notch out a V on both sides and these will be somewhat deep V's because you don't want a whole lot of that red showing through some of it's going to show but not a whole lot so then we'll take it and you can see that I don't have any of that red background showing there and that's exactly what I want so I am going to take my glue and I am going to run glue right there through the middle and then I'll take my bow and I'm going to place it down like so wipe up my excess glue 
and you can see this cutie starting to take shape. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to come in at the end and cut in that tail just like that and I'll rotate it and I'll do the same thing over here so I am just cutting in the tail and now I can just place that down and y'all can see that I have a festive little bow that's great for my upcoming project so I have a couple of jingle bells and I am just going to tie my jingle bells to the twine so that they can just hang down and make a little bit of noise on my project. So I am going to trim that off and I'll take my second jingle bell. I'm going to place it right through there and then I'll tie it off just like I did the other one. And they don't have to be even. And I am going to just trim that away. And so now I have a second sweet little bow to go with the first bow that I made. And these make awesome, awesome embellishments for your projects. They also make awesome gifts that you can make and gift. Remember, the gift of packaging and the gift of embellishments is so appreciated. And like I said on a previous video, when you have bows and embellishments that you've made that are this cute, you need something cute to put them on. And that's exactly what we are going to make. Okay guys, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to make my handle. And therefore I'm going to cut off a piece that measures two by 12 and I only need one two by 12 inch piece. And I am going to take this piece and I am just going to fold it into thirds. So you can place it in your scoreboard if you want. I am just eyeballing this. So there's one and then I'll fold this over. And there's two. So now I'll take my glue and I'm going to run my glue in the middle first. I'll fold one end over and get it stuck. And then I'll take my glue and I am going to just place glue here. And we're going to get it stuck. And then we're going to set that to the side and let it dry. So then I'm going to bring in a piece of my 11 by 14 inch poster board that I get from the Dollar Tree. But if you don't have the poster board, you need to join two pieces so that you end up with one piece that is 11 by 14 when joined. So I am going to take this and I am going to score this at three on the 11 inch side. Then I'm going to flip it because it won't go all the way down because of the size of my scoreboard. Score at three again until the two scores meet. Then I'll take it and flip it to the opposite 11 inch side. Score at three as far as I can go. And then I'll flip it, come back to that three and score until it meets that first score that I did. And then I'll turn it to the 14 inch side and I'm going to score this at four and at seven and at 11. And then I'm going to make one more score and that is going to be at 11 and three quarters. And so now guys, we are going to fold and burnish all of our scores. And this is going to be another 
quick and easy project that you can make bunches of and they will be so appreciated when you give them. Okay guys, so the first thing that we are going to do, we have the center tabs here that are very close to the wide tab at the bottom. We are going to just free up those tabs. So we are going to go in to the score mark and drag straight down. Just like that. Then I am going to reduce this in size. Then I'll come to this side and we're going to do the same thing. So, so go up to the score mark and drag straight down. And then I'll reduce this in size. Then we're going to have a large rectangle here and then a thin rectangle right here. We need to remove both of those. So I am going to just go up to that second score mark drag straight down and then I'll turn it to the side and remove that piece and we're going to do the same thing here so I'm going to go up to the second score mark drag straight down and then I'll turn it to the side and we'll remove that piece so now that we have it like this on the end where you have this piece here that's the top so as you guys have seen me do before I am going to reduce these two panels that are right below the top flap. So I am basically just going to create a smaller glue flap. So I have trimmed this down to about 5 eighths of an inch. And I'll do the same thing over here. So I am simply trimming it just to make it easier for me to be able to fold this into the shape that I want when I pinch the sides. So now that we have this, we're basically ready to put this together. But before I put it together, I want to go ahead and add some decorative paper to the front cardstock. I am not going to cover the whole thing. I am just going to cover this center section. So what I have, and I'm not going to cover the bottom, I'm going to leave the bottom white. So what I have are two pieces that measure four and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then I have this piece here in the front that measures four and three quarters by two and one eighth. So I am going to take this and just run some tape along my piece and put it down. And it's going to be so easy, peasy, cute. So this is the front flap and it will fold in just like that. So I am doing this because I want to make sure that I have my Christmas trees going in the right direction because y'all know me well enough to know that these Christmas trees could end up upside down. So I have those right there. I am going to go ahead and add some double stick tape to this piece that measures four and three quarters by three and three quarters. I am going to take it and we are going to place it right here. Try to center it. And then I'm going to take my final piece of four and three quarters by three and three quarter inch piece and we're going to place it on the back. I'm going to turn it around this way. And I am going to try to get this centered. So now we have this and we are going to put this together. So I am just going to give that a nice little crease. Then I'm going to add some glue to this piece. And I'm going to bring up this piece. 
and just get it stuck nice and even. And then I'm going to add glue to this piece. And I'll bring this piece over, get it stuck. But when I'm getting it stuck, I want to make sure that I am getting the tops matched. So now I can go on the inside with my spatula. We're gonna get everything nice and stuck. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. So I am going to take my glue, place my glue all over this piece. Then I'll bring in this side and get it stuck. And then I'll add my glue to my glue flap here. And then I'm just going to bring this piece over, making sure that I am matching it at the top because I want the top even. If I had any unevenness on the lower part of this or the bottom part of this, I could go back and just snip that off. But we want to make sure that the top is nice and even. So I have my little bag and I am just going to pinch it on the side, just like this. So I'm pinching it on the side. And then when I close it, I'm going to have a sweet little mini paper purse. Nothing extravagant, just mini and cute. So now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and take my handle and just nip it at an angle, just like that on both sides. And now I can take this and I'm going to place it here underneath the bottom, just like that. And I'm going to use my glue. So I'll take my reptile glue. I'm going to take this piece Place it right there. I'm going to lay it down. Make sure it's nice and stuck. Then I can take this and I'm simply just going to fold it where the bag naturally folds. And so now I'll have it like this. And I am just going to take this and bring this piece over. And I'm just going to fold it right there, place my glue, and then I can take this piece and I am simply going to place it right there so that I can fold it underneath and get it stuck. And that is a quick and easy way to make a little paper purse. It's little guys, but look how deep that is. You can put all types of goodies on the inside. So I am going to just stand this up so that I can get my handle nice and straight. And I'll just hold it like this so that y'all can see just how cute that is, and it's going to get even cuter. But the first thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and place down a Velcro dot. I'm not going to close this with a magnet. I am going to close it with a Velcro dot. So I am going to take my Velcro dot and just place it right there. And then I will peel off that backer sheet. And now I can take it fold it over and get it pressed down. And then hopefully I can just pull this up and it comes up nice and easy. So you don't need to use magnets on this project because it really is just a very basic non chipboard paper purse, but it is a cutie guys and it will hold quite a bit. So now what I'm going to do is I am simply going to take one of my sweet little bows, and isn't that stinking cute? 
So now all I need to do is take that little cutie and get it glued down. And y'all, we are going to have an absolutely fabulous little paper purse that is complete with a jingle bell bow. Super, super cute and super easy. So I am going to take this, find where I want to place it. I'm going to just lift that up so that I can really get this stuck because I don't want it coming up. So I am going to twist it, get it straight. And I don't know about y'all, but I am loving it. So I'm going to slide that over. And now I can close it. And y'all look at how stinking cute this is. This little paper purse is a really nice size one. You could very easily get some toiletries and some socks. I love the fuzzy socks. You could get some of those in here. You could put candies, you can put jewelry, anything that you want to put in this awesome little paper purse. And when finished, it measures five by four by three. It is a very good size purse. So I am just going to bring my bow back in so that you can see how it all started. We started with just a bow and then we built something for that bow so that we can showcase our beautiful bows in style. And I'll keep saying it, you do not need to go to the store to buy packaging for your gifts for whatever reason, season, or gender that you might need one. No, we have the ability to make anything that we need packaging for. Even if that means that we have to join some paper together to get the larger size, we can do that because we now know the process. And once you know the process, everything else is easy. So guys, I hope that you have liked another super duper easy, traditional little bow that you can make and then showcase on your own custom made little paper purse. And when you start with something as sturdy as this poster board is, you really can put something of substance in here because we are holding it together with glue, which makes it very, very sturdy. So guys, I hope that you have liked this super awesome and super easy project. And if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys, be safe, be kind, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Mm -hmm.